The two men you're going to watch have certainly got the talent to do it. Steve Miserac and Efren Reyes, the magician. Miserac, I think, is the most recognizable face and form in all of pool. He's a magnificent player, and it's good to have him back in top form. Yeah, it's really great time to see him uh, playing great, and uh, I know he's really looking forward to this match, and uh, he's really got a beautiful game to watch. All right, you've known the Miz for a long time. He can really play this game, can't he? Oh, you have good players, then you have top players, then you have great players. Mesrak is one of the great players. He's going to have to be at his very best to beat Reyes, because many people think Reyes might be the best player in the world. Well, right now, he's certain, certainly proven it this year, Tom. Eight ball he's, champion, and he's been in almost every show we've done, hasn't he? Yeah, he's the number one player on our Pro Billiards Tour, so that pretty well speaks for itself. Well, we had a great match a week ago. If these two guys can live up to that, it'll be some kind of a show. Glad you joined us from Owensboro. We'll be back to get it underway in just a moment. All right, here's the lag now. Conceivably the most important shot in all of pool. The man who can put the cue ball nearest uh, to the railing, and it's quite obvious that Steve Miserak has done that, and he will get the first break. And the first break, getting the break. And that is uh, the most important thing. Here are the rules that govern play. We're in semifinal competition in this Pro Tour Championship. They lag for the break, as you just saw a moment ago. Balls are shot in numerical order. The ball in hand on all fouls. Push-out option after the break. We'll explain that if and when it occurs. Three consecutive fouls, the loss of the rack. Player who pockets the nine ball wins the rack, and the race is to 11. Whoever gets to 11 first is the winner. And now Steve Miserak will be the... Um, man to play first and we'll sit back and watch one of the best that Poole has ever seen. Oops, off the table. So that'll be ball in hand for Ephraim Reyes. Oh, scratch in the break, it's ball in hand anywhere on the table. And the table is pretty well spread out, gentlemen, is it not? Yeah, there could. When he goes from that uh, four to that five ball, that five's tucked a little bit under the eight ball. That looks to be where uh, there might be a little problem with this rack. Reyes is uh, the type of player that you cannot give an opportunity to. Maybe. He, um, extremely difficult. It's called the magician. Outstanding players from the Philippines. Working on the two ball in the corner. He's got the three ball back in the other and five ball down in the corner here. Nine ball is down toward the bottom of the, right down there. So that four to the five is tough, isn't it, buddy? Yes, it is. Four to the five is real tough. Scott Smith is our referee. He'll be seen from time to time conversing with the players. Okay, we have the, the four ball right here. The five is here. He's going to have to come up and stay in this area. He's got to stay inside of the, of the uh, eight ball there. Cuts the four in beautifully, and oh, right. my. He's, he's in good shape. Is he? Yeah. He has room for the five ball up against the rail. Where does he go for the six here now? I believe he's going to have to come right across. He's going to come across and maybe back. Looks like Philippines. he can't bump the eight because he might end up behind the eight. Right, I think he's going to shoot the five right down in here. Bring the cue ball back out into this area here. Well, he went to that area, but he didn't He didn't take as long a route as I was pointing out. Yeah, he was almost dangerously close to being behind that eight ball, wasn't he? Uh, <laughs> he's got a, <laughs> you think he's going to shoot this at a soft speed here, uh, buddy? Well, that's what makes this shot awfully hard, is, is having to hit it soft. That is a hard shot there. Boy, he has a touch, doesn't that he? That was a great shot. Seven in the corner, no problem. Yeah, Ephraim's a beautiful player to watch. He's got such great rhythm. And the eight. Remember, uh, Steve Miserank had the break and scratched the cue ball off the table, ball in hand. And Riss, just one more shove away from taking the opening rack. And he does just that. So Reyes leads one game to none. And now he will have the cue in hand for the second rack. And he'll have the opportunity to break. 
We're going out to how many countries are we going out to? I don't know. Quite a few. Yeah. I know there are millions of people across the country that are right. I watching you great players. I think we're even going to the Philippines. Could be. Yeah, this, I tell uh, you, pool is a big time item in the Philippines. Thanks largely, I guess, to this young man and, and uh, his fellow players. Well, also, there's a company over there uh, and a gentleman called Jose Poyat. And uh, he's really a great fan and uh, sponsor of the sport. And in fact, uh, right now, uh, the Pro Beers Tours in uh, negotiation with bringing the event to the uh, Philippines. And I know Jose's uh, involved with that. And he'll be uh, trying to put that together. And uh, the uh, Filipino team that's here in America playing on the Pro Beers Tour uh, told me to tell Jose Poyat hello. And on uh, behalf of the Pro Beers Tour, I'd like to tell our friends in uh, Manila, Jose Poyat hello from the Pro Beers Tour. Yeah. That's great. The Miz, has he got a uh, shot for the one ball here? Is he going to try to make the six or what? Well, it looks like he's going to play safe. Play it was either play safe or try to bank it one rail across. Yeah. He'd like to play safe. Brilliant. So Steve Miserak, down one game to none, gives the ball to, or the cue to our friend Reyes. You have the one ball right here. The cue ball is in this area right here. He has to figure out a way to hit this one. I think he's going to come one. He's going to come straight down one, two, and kick the one back up this way, trying to stick the cue ball in the area where the, the one ball's at right now. Return the favor. In other words, don't leave the Miz right. shot either. Huh? Right. Steve Mizrak is trying to put together a senior tour. Some of you mm. older guys, eh, buddy? Yeah, some of us youngsters get to play on it. He told me to come out and play, and I said they took all my milk wow. money years ago. That's a bad hit. He caught the three ball. It was not a clean hit, so it's going to be ball Mizrak in hand for the Miz. <coughs> you don't see Reyes make too many mistakes like that, Nick, huh? No. Just the careless or just a bad shot or what? Well, he just uh, came a little too short and hit the three, but that's uh, part of the game that's kind of made, made him famous in America is his kicking game. Uh, when he came over, it really uh, heightened the awareness of how important it is when you're kicking because he escapes many a time on shots like that, doesn't he, buddy? Yes, he does. Here, I believe he'll just try to go into the five. He's going to try to play the one straight in here and let the cue ball bump the five out of the mm -hmm. way for the two. Mm-hmm. Did that. Well, I moved the two in the same pocket and follow it a little bit for the three down in the corner. Huh? Well, Steve's been a great straight pool player, and that's kind of a straight pool shot there where you bump balls out of the way. He won four U.S. Opens in a row. But you know, the man is truly a legend. I mean, there isn't much in this game he hasn't done, and he has been away from the limelight. I mean, from the television cameras uh, in tournaments like this for a while, his health has not been all that good, and his game hasn't really been that good. Now it's back. All right. Although he says he's got a terrible back. His back bothers him. Well, Steve's been doing a lot of work here for the last two or three years. He, he hasn't uh, really devoted the time to his game that he'd like to. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, but now he's decided he's going to go ahead and give it a shot and play a little bit. And here's uh, proof of the pudding. He's playing great. Yeah. Well, he has such a beautiful stroke. Uh, seems like he can get so much on the cue ball with so little effort. Well, he's got the table set here to um, even this up. One apiece. He'll take the seven right down in the corner huh? and stop the cue ball there for the eight in the other corner and then follow it a little bit for the nine. Huh? I think so. He could follow down for the side pocket here. Is it? No, you no, called it. He's playing he, the corner. Then he'll put the eight down here, I believe, won't he, gentlemen? I would think, yeah. Yes. And then the nine in the other pocket across. You're starting to learn this game, Tom. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just living proof that little knowledge is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so the Miz comes back to even it up. We're tied at a game apiece here in the semifinal of the Pro Tour Championship. We'll be back. Games are tied at one apiece now, and The Miz, Steve Miserak, with the break. Last time he broke wide, cue ball went on the floor, and <coughs> Reyes ran the table on him. You can bet he'll make an adjustment on this break. Still cut it a little bit, didn't he, buddy? Yes, he did. Put the eight ball in the corner, though. He, he hit didn't it make the eight. Was it? Yeah, he made the eight, did he? Yeah, he hit, it. he hit it with a good level stroke. Here, here we have the one ball. 
the two ball is this ball right here. This is the cue ball. What he has to do is he has to hit this shot and make the cue ball slow down enough in order to play position for the two in this side. This is a very hard shot here. He has to slow the ball down. Hard do you try to go four rails here? Well, a lot of traffic. Well, you called it, Nicky. Three rails. Gotta get a break. Gotta corner. get a break. He did. What a great shot oh, that boy. was. That, magne mm. that was just magnificent. There. I'm going to put the two ball up in the far right hand corner. Look at how good a position he got on that two ball. That was a really hard shot. He has a problem with the four. He Look at that well. stroke. <laughs> Look he at that, that stroke. Ball, that is he? power there. <laughs> now he's got the. Four, the five. What's his problem with the four, buddy? Well, well he's got to play position on the five, and he's looking to see where he's going to go. And uh, can he come off those two rails and be right out there again, or can he? Can he come up there and there and come back out? Got to hit a little harder, a little more. Perfect. Oh, strong at the head. Perfection at its that was perfect. He's even got the nice little angle where he can just roll down a little bit or. Something. Well, then what does he do? Does he play the 6-9 combination? Oh, no, I see. All right, okay. Did he get I far enough, there? Yeah, he may a, have. Yeah, I think the 6 is dead in, isn't it? Now, he may have an angle to where he can touch this rail with the cue ball. Yeah, I, mean, I think he's, he's going to draw six it in. straight in. He's got to try to draw it back and touch this rail or just stick right there in that area. He wants to get closer to it. Oh, he followed it. He needs wow. a little hurry up on it. He needs what a little nice hurry. speed. Yeah. Yeah, all right, oh, good. Tell you what, he's made a nice out here, buddy. If he gets the 7 9 in, which it looks like it's pretty well routine now, but boy, that's a great rack here. That's a confidence builder, this rack for him. I would imagine, and we should talk about that a little bit, as magnificent a player as he is, and as magnificent as he has been, his heart's got to be pumping just a little bit quicker than that. Beautiful run by the Miz. Miserac makes it 2-1 now. Handled the cue and the ball's on the table beautifully, and he'll be back to break the rack again. He still feels the pressure, doesn't he? Huh? Oh, absolutely. Oh, everybody feels it. <laughs> if they say they don't, they're yeah. not telling the yeah, truth. They aren't, paying, they, yeah. <laughs> they aren't paying attention. You're watching semifinal competition, the Pro Tour Championship. We're in Owensboro, Kentucky, on the banks of the beautiful Ohio, Nick Varner's town. And some of the knowledgeable, very attentive pool fans looking on. Here's the break from the Miz. Yeah, it's great to play in this tournament in my hometown and be able to sleep in my own bed at night. Isn't that nice? That is nice. Can I make the... I believe he's okay. Yep. Looks yep. like the key here is when he uh, playing position from the three to the four, buddy. Right. He, he's got to come out here for the, the three ball in this corner pocket. Now, the four is laying right here. It looks like the only available pocket is there for the four. That's so where the eight is, isn't it? Oh, you I see played the other way. Right. Put the three back up there, and does he draw the cue ball back for the no, four? No, He nope. played the right angle. He'll just come off the side here and to the side rail and back down this area here for the four in this pocket. Yeah, he's got the perfect angle to do that. And he's got oh, that eight ball down in the corner pocket. He's got to be careful. Yes, he does. That's he's right. kind of caught in a trap here. Yeah, he needs to bend bit. over to reach it. That's then. right. And there's a lot, let's be honest, there's a lot of Steve to bend over. Look, yeah. he's kind of grinning a <laughs> lot. <laughs> <laughs> may be a little late for that, Miz. <laughs> you may have heard me say that. I'm <laughs> this is not an easy shot for the big fella. He touches that eight ball, fouls it anyway. Well, it'll be ball in hand for Reyes. That eight ball is making this a tough shot instead of an easy yeah. shot, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. really is. He's got to be worried about now. He's well clear of that now. If he can just settle down and realize that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He's glad that shot's over. Well, and you want to know something? Because hey, my voice carries. I realize that, and I'm glad that he made that because he kind of stepped away from that shot when I said that it might be a little late for him to brush that off. So I'm glad it all worked out for him. <laughs> 
He's got to go between the nine and eight here. He's left himself a real hard shot on this five. Yeah. And probably play it in that left corner and have the cue ball just bounce off the right rail and play the six on the side. But just he's mostly interested in concentrating on pocketing the five ball here. That's the first business by him, way up in the corner on the left. What a great camera shot that is. Beautiful. Well, he's playing Beautiful good, good anybody. Yeah. He's playing good. He's pocketing balls good. That went right in the center of the hole. Now, buddy, the eight ball right down here, does that give him any kind of a problem with the nine ball being there? Well, what it does, he has to come, has to strike this rail and come back over. So he, the only thing he has to really worry about is his speed, his cue ball speed. Which he, he's in good shape, I believe. Yep, beautiful. Now, for a left-hander, that's not the easiest of shots. He's going to have to go get the bridge, isn't he? Right, he has his own bridge. He brings it with him. He likes it because he can maneuver it around and stretch it out. And mm -hmm. Very lightweight. He just bumped the end rail and come up, play the nine in the same pocket. Beautiful. Beautifully done. So it uh, would appear that the Miz is going to take a 3-1 advantage in games over Efren Reyes. Nicely done. The Miz goes up 3-1. He leads in games here in the semifinal competition. Watch again as he buries that five ball, beautifully played all the way up to the corner in great position on the six, and from there he ran the rack. And we'll be back. So the semifinal competition continues. Steve Miserak, the Miz, up 3-1 over Efren Reyes, the magician. And it's Miserak at the table for a still another break. And uh, with Nick Varner and Buddy Hall, I'm Tom Kelly here on Prime from Owensboro, Kentucky. And the Miz is playing every bit as good as advertised. It's really showing some clever manipulation of cue and ball. Needs a break. Did not going to get one here. Well, it came up empty, huh? Sure did. Well, he hit him hard, too. <clears throat> and square. And so Reyes now comes to the four, and he's got both the cue ball and the one ball at that end of the table. What kind of a shot has he got in that one ball, buddy? Well, he doesn't <coughs> have any, much. Huh? He, he may be able to bank the one out here and bring the cue ball down into this area right here. I mean, you're talking uh, if it goes in, great, but let's just play it safe, huh? Well, yeah, he, I believe he's going to have to play safe. Both of you men competed in this uh, tournament that is in its semifinal stage uh, and played well. Neither one of you played the magician, huh? Did you play Reyes, Nick Martin? No, didn't I didn't play, play him. Did you, buddy? You didn't have to play no. either. <coughs> no. Well, he's kind of, uh, has he uh, given the Miz a headache or two here? Yes. Well, it does look like it's yeah, tough, doesn't it? He only top. has one, only one shot that I can see. Lay it out for us, then. Okay, I believe he's going to have to bring the cue ball all the way down to the end rail and back to the one in order to hit it. Uh, he may curve his, but he's going to curve his ball. Okay, he's going to curve his cue ball. Beautiful. Oh, great shot. Beautiful. Uh, well, he better, oh, got a bad kiss there. Uh, got a bad kiss. Oh, well, he'd have had that one ball buried and the cue ball back down behind the three and he got a bad bounce, didn't he? Right, he had to make his cue ball go around the two. We call that curving our rock. <laughs> well, the Miz has gotten most of those shots. Yeah, I believe he's just going to play this ball across the side. So. And this is the ball that he has to play position on. I believe it does pass the seven, so I believe he'll just shoot this across the side. No, he's ducking. Evidently, the two won't go. Hmm. You might cut it oh, in the end down there. Is that a shot? shot? Is that unbelievable? I mean, how thin? I've seen delicatessens don't cut meat that thin. I mean, <laughs> even though they try. What a... Th huh? That's amazing. Well, I can't believe he cut it down the corner when all he had to do is shoot and stop making it. <laughs> but what is... <laughs> now, there's no reason for that. No. Can he get the two ball uh, past everything down? Yeah, it, it goes past the seven, I believe. 
He's got a little bit of a problem here, going from the two to the three, then the three to the four, and then the four to the five. That's a real tricky combination of four balls there. Right. He has to play the two in here. It's he has to play position. And he did, or did he? Yeah, he yeah, got, he's a, got a great position mm -hmm. here. Boy, mm -hmm. what a nice. He really well, how does he good. move the five away from the nine, excuse me, nine ball? He has to make sure that he's right against the rail with the cue ball. He shoots the three, and he's got to lay the right four against the side. the way back rail. up in the corner. Right, he has to be dead straight in on the four. Isn't this your four up here with the four ball? Yes. Here? Yeah, and then, but, but he has to break up this combination, doesn't he? Or no, does he? no, no, no. He doesn't have to break it up. He just wants to fall close to the rail. Well, no, he's doing something different. He must be going to go three rails at it. Yeah. Or play his cue ball over to here. Well, he uh, showed us a beautiful cut shot a moment ago. There's no reason to believe he can't cut that in the corner. And he does. Now, how about, can he make the five where it is? Yeah. Huh? Slip it past the nine, huh? <laughs> Man, that cut shot back in the corner, that was... Phew. You know, that pocket has been a problem. A week ago, we saw... Both Davenport and, and Archer, they just got more rim rattlers in that corner pocket. As you watch Reyes uh, working on the six ball, cuts it back in, comes back perfectly for the seven ball. He beat uh, Harriman and Kennedy and Morris and uh, Wetch and Rempe, and uh, that's a pretty good run. So take it into the semifinals, and now he's just uh, put the eight ball on the side and the nine ball, and we're going to have it down to 3-2 in games here in this first race to 11. Well, you can bet all the TVs in the Philippines are uh, wired to this match right here. Mm -hmm. And he does it. It is now 3-2 in favor of the Miz. And Efren Reyes, the magician, eight ball champion currently. He won the um, U.S. Open nine ball a year ago, 94, was a, defended that title quite well earlier in the series. Boy, well, since he won the U.S. Open uh, last year in uh, September, he's had an unbelievable Great run. Great string, unbelievable, yeah. He won the nine ball and then he lost out to the young man from Jackson, Mississippi, Reed, Reed Pierce. What a great match that was. And he has been very, very tough on the tour. This guy can play, make no mistake about it. And here he is now, down 3-2. It's his break. It was a nine ball hanging right on the edge. We. One ball is gone, the two ball is up on the other side, and the three ball. And play the two ball in here. This is the three right here. It will go in the side pocket. The four ball is laying over against this side rail, so I don't really know. He'll have to lay it down the opposite corner. He played a perfect angle. He's just going to bring his cue ball right to the side rail, play the four all the way down. If he gets to the six ball, gentlemen, with the cue ball up at that end of the table, we can go to a new rack. You agree with me? Yeah, I think I play the six nine combination. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I buddy? do too. Well, it depends on where he lands. Well, if he has the cue ball up there, and it would appear he's going to, because he's got the five ball next, and be in perfect position. I don't think he goes by the six. I think that's the last of it. You better be a little careful here. Oh, he's going opposite handed. He's going left handed with this shot. Is that something? I mean, this guy... Left or right-handed? <laughs> He'd probably take his shoes off and play pretty good, too. No, you He's a switch hitter. <laughs> you think he'll bank the, the six off the rail or no. shoot straight into it? I think he's going right into the nine. You didn't I call that about four balls ago, didn't I say that? <laughs> We're deadlocked at three apiece. All right, Reyes comes back. He and the Miz are deadlocked at three apiece as you watch him now with a replay of a shot and sets it up perfectly for the six and follows, puts the nine ball in the corner, and wins the rack. You're turning to a technician on this pool. Almost. <laughs> All right, we're deadlocked at three apiece. 
Well, we're back on service. If this indeed were a tennis match, you'd say that. Reyes and Miserac each has given away one of the racks, and they're dead even at three apiece. Here's Reyes now. He's come back to catch Miserac after being 3-1. They hit those square. Boy, does it. Two, three balls. Cue ball never even hit a rail. Boy. Well, look at this layout. Mm -hmm. I'd like to play these myself, but I might be able to play those, Nick. Wait a minute. If it's that easy, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you just shoot the two in here, strike the side rail, bring it back over here. Got the three balls for the right three in the middle ball of the right here. Unbelievable. What a break. Reyes looking to take a 4-3 lead. He's called the magician. Both men have played beautifully. Each has had one miscue. That is where they allowed the other to get on the table. And uh, they've each taken advantage of it. And now Reyes looks to go ahead in what has been a 3-3 contest. Semi-final competition. We're in Owensboro, Kentucky. Just south of Indiana. Northern city here in Kentucky on the banks of the Ohio. Nick Varner. Owensboro's pride and joy sitting next to me. He was in the tournament, and Buddy Hall, the rifleman, one of the two veteran champion players of this game. He's got a little place that he's opening up down in Tampa, Florida. Come by and play nine ball with him one of these days. When are you going to have that open, Buddy? Well, it's really open now. Things are starting to start to pick up pretty good. It's a new business of mine called Hot Shots. I like to say hello to everybody down there, too. Good. We wish you great success with it. Very nice. Well, I tell you, you know, this guy doesn't... He made one careless shot a while ago when he gave the, the Miz the ball in hand, but since then, he seldom makes a mistake, does he? He is awfully tough. And the Miz looks at him and says, I think his, his face probably mirrors what we were saying. This kid can play. And uh, make no mistake about it, out of a, an occasional miscue by Reyes, tough to fault. Reyes leads 4-3 as you look at the stats. Balls pocketed, almost even. I mean, considering them playing balls missed, no. Scratches on the break, won by the Miz. Kicking errors, won by Reyes. Those were the two miscues I spoke of. And the rest of it has been, look at the statistics. Yeah, I mean, 971. Really That's out of a possible perfect yeah. 1,000. And yeah. look at Miserec, 964. Yes. I mean, that's close to perfect they, pool. They have played excellent, and each has made a mistake. Each has capitalized on it, and Reyes now leading 4-3. Here's the break. That's oh, all right. Oh, he yeah. is. That's a, uh, Table's leaking. Huh? Are you kidding? It's almost like somebody threw a hand grenade in the middle of the balls flying in pockets everywhere. Look at these. One, four, five, six, nine. Yeah. There's not much to this rack. Mm -mm. You just gotta make sure he gets to the end rail or wore all the way back one day. This is even easier than the last rack. It was such a great break. Yeah. Uh, is that a beautifully played cue ball there when he laid that right against the rail, buddy? Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, he's... I mean, it gives him perfect position for this shot, doesn't it? He plays great position. He's, he plays the cue ball very well. He, he used to play a lot of billiards, and that helps his cue ball as far as playing position. I just got such marvelous speed control. Well, um, we're not going to fool around here. I'm going to call it again, fellas. He's going to play this combination and put the nine ball away. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> this combination's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Old sure thing, Kelly. <laughs> well, Reyes has taken a 5-3 lead now in uh, the race to 11. Remember, the winner of 11 games will go on to play the championship against uh, Kim Davenport, young man who a week ago, you saw him battle Archer in 11-10, come from a 9-2 deficit, a 10-4, 10-5 deficit to beat Archer 11-10. What an exciting match that It was. truly was a great match, and both men played brilliantly, beautifully. And in fact... Some of the fans were muttering after the game, you know, Archer didn't really lose it. Davenport just won it. That's right. That's the kind of a match it was. Well, Reyes again. He may have come up dry that time. And he may have scratched. No, he didn't. Oh. He corner hooked him. Oh, boy. He corner hooked him. And the Miz is saying, a fine thing. This is. Yeah, he caught a lucky park there, mm. huh, buddy? Yes, he did, Miz. Miz is not a happy camper right at the minute. No. Uh, 
he has there's no way to get that shot and hit the one ball. No, I don't believe there's any way for him to hit it. What do you run? Four racks in a row there? Yes, yeah. It was one one. You're in four he racks. In four. This is the cue ball right here. This is the one. He is actually blocked by this point right here. Yep. He can't even hit the one. I don't know what is he has to push out. But if he does and really gives Reyes a problem, Reyes may say, go ahead and play it, Steve, huh? Yep. That's the problem with it. Right. It's just this is a legal push out. That's about the best he Reyes can do. Reyes has the option. Ephraim's got a pretty good shot. Uh, he could even he can either play safe or he can play that ball cross corner. Yeah, he's gonna try to hook him. He's just gonna bank the one over to this area and bring the cue ball down this area right here to play safe. Mm. You got it on the button, buddy. Yeah, buddy, and I tell you. Perfect call. It's amazing control of that cue ball. I mean, that thing could have stopped anywhere in here, and instead it just drifted back down and out of sight, huh? Yeah. That's amazing. Well, what about uh, this? Can he bank it off here and, and hit it? Or what? No, he's going to go, he go the other way. He'll go the other way. He'll, he'll probably kick two rails at this ball. He'll either come in two rails to here or two rails to there. Or he may curve his ball again. I think he's going to play the two rail shot, though. Mizorak defeated Martinez. Hobson. Okay, he's Kiddo, playing. He's Davenport. Playing. Watch, it's a double elimination tournament, remember? Oh, ball in hand. Wow. Raise that ball in hand. Down 5 3. The Miz has given Reyes ball in hand. How's the table set up for him, gentlemen? Key's going to be going from that two to the three. What he's going to do, he'll play the cue ball all the way over to this side rail. See, he played it different than what I would I would have played the cue ball all the way to the side rail here and then played two rails down and played the three over here. What will he do? Will he cut this down in the corner? I no. think he... Or is he what's he going to do with that? I think he wanted to fall straight in on that two where he could go straight down the table toward the pocket. Yeah. He's going to play it, and he's falling in a little bit of a tough position. He's got a really juice as rock. I mean, he's not going to have much of a shot at that he three, may, is he? Uh, he's perfect. Oh, boy. Well, he fell right in the gap. Can that was a nice shot. He fell right in the gap. Well, that was a small window there. Talk about falling into the cracks. He really did, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four ball in the side, five ball up in the corner. He's got to come back to the six. Nope, going to put the five in there. See, stupid me, I'd have had the five ball in that corner up there and the cue ball in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> <laughs> He'll bring it right back down, won't he? Yeah, look at that. He may be too far down. He, well, the way he can cut the ball, though, it's just different. He just hit it. But that's what he gets to do. He has to hit one very thin here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that what you had in mind? That something? Side, the nine ball in the corner, and he's up six three. Hmm. Reyes leads six to three over Steve Miserac in the semifinal competition. The Pro Tour Championship on Prime continues. Reyes now with quite a run, 6-3 over Miserac. They were deadlocked at three. And Reyes has taken charge of this semifinal event, continues to break the balls beautifully, and gets um, 
a lucky break every here and every here and again. But of course, good players, and he is certainly one of the best, make their luck. And he is uh, very capable of taking advantage of it. The only time Miserac got off the stool to come play, he was hooked by the corner and really couldn't do a shot and ended up giving the ball in hand to Reyes, and he ran the table. And all he's got to do is get straight in on the three and shoot and stop. One, two, straight in. Boom. I tell you, he makes that cue ball do everything but talk. Four just hanging there. Well, he sure has some beautiful breaks in this place. Has he? Yes, he has. I hate to denigrate the great talent this guy's got, but some of these breaks, I might be able to make two, three of those balls, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I know you two guys that run the table, so it is not surprising that he is. Any problem with the seven and the six? No problem, huh? No. No, no, no. no. Just back it up a hair. Mm-hmm. Is that what you had in mind? Yeah. Yep. Now he'll turn. Is he any good left-handed? What do you think? <laughs> I'll tell you. Put a blindfold on him. Steve Miserak, one of the very best, sits and watches. Not much Steve can do. He can't get to the table. He's playing great, but he just uh, can't yeah. win from that chair. No. It is now 7-3, to three, race to 11. Before you think it's over, though, I would uh, remind you of our semifinal match of a week ago when Davenport, who's the defending champion in this event, was down nine games to two and came back to win it, 11-10, the match you saw last week, and what a great match it was. So if you're a Miserac fan, have the faith uh, that he can get up off that stool and get back on, on the table. For a moment there, everybody, if you're a Miserac fan, was hoping that Reyes had hit it with the end of the queue <laughs> and missed everything. Seven balls going. Yep. Three balls going. Yep. Well, all he's got to do is bring the cue ball to this area right here. He's got to shoot the one in this pocket. He'll strike this rail and come back to this area. If he does that, this rack is pretty much over. He seldom makes a mistake. And Buddy he, Hall acts as though he wrote the script for him. He's diagrammed it uh, perfectly. He went a little bit far? A little short. He went a little like short. To went a little further yeah. there. Because he's going to have to, I believe, go three rails on this. Right between the four and the six. Look at that. Uh, Look at that. Is that some kind of talent? Got the four up there, the five hanging in the corner. Six and eight up there. Boy, he spins that cue ball around, doesn't he? Huh? Yes, he does. And the six will go, will it go by the eight up there? Yes. Plenty of room, huh? No problem. All I got to do is just bump the side rail, come out, shoot the eight straight in, draw it back a little bit for the nine. With dispatch. Down the nine ball. Reyes leading seven to three. Looking to take and does an eight to three advantage over Steve Miserac in this semifinal competition. The winner goes on to play for the championship. So Efren Reyes with a lead of 8-3 in games played in the race to 11 here in this semifinal competition gets up to come back for the break. And Steve the Miz Miserac across the way looks on. Not much he can do about it. When given an opportunity, he's played brilliantly, but Reyes just won't let him get to the table. He must be scared to death of Steve, huh? <laughs> won't let him get to the table. He won't. Wow. He may he may get a chance. It looked like the old slug over there. I mean it just the balls didn't seem to separate very well. And he hooked Steve again. He didn't make one that time. Yeah, he's gonna have to push out again, I think, buddy. What does Steve say, huh? What does Steve say? <laughs> no telling. 
he may have a shot at the one. If he can hit the one, he may be able to play it down in the corner. for six racks, and I got to come to this. <laughs> yeah, from shooting 985. Look yeah. at that stats. That 985. That's and the Miz is shooting 90 percent. Every time he gets up, he needs their hook. He has no shot. Look at that, 67 balls to 27. And the mistakes, kicking errors. Mizrax had two, and Reyes has had one. Few mistakes in this match. The Miz just hasn't had a chance to play. He doesn't want this shot. I don't blame him. I wouldn't want it either. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, Shoot straight into the man like the cue ball all the way to the end rail. Push out. Mr. Reyes has the option. Well, a player of Reyes's ability, that's not a big time problem, there, is it? Just a lot of green, isn't it? Well, it is a hard shot to make. He's got, he's got a shot here. Mm -hmm. This is the two ball. Now, he has to be careful. He may bump the two, or he may be able to come up and back down for the two. But it, this is a real hard shot. He might even give this shot up. No, he's going to shoot. He may bump the two a little bit with his cue ball. He may not. Uh, but if he plays with a high ball, he's got to play the one and the two, it looks like, in the same pocket. I think he did give it up. He's trying to hook him with the four. He oh, did he, give it up. Oh, he ducked. He played safe. Is that what, what we pool players call it? We ducked? Huh? Yes, yeah. it is. As, as the Miz got a chance, have we got the Miz up to play some pool here now? Or what? Yeah, he's got he's a bank shot. play safe, I think. He's down 8-3. How can you play safe? No, but he was right. He's banking. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Nice shot. He's got a shot. I believe the three passes, the seven, two. I, uh, he's okay here if he just get by. He needs to come all the way to the rail with this one. Why did you think he was going to play safe, Nick? He's got to get up and make some balls, doesn't he? You can't let this guy get ahead of him or it's going to be kitty by the door. Good night, Irene, and everything else. Well, the angle, I just didn't think he could bank didn't it. Didn't think he could bank it, huh? But he did it beautifully. No. He got what's tougher. He, what's he going to do? He's in, uh, he's in trouble yeah. right here. Yeah, he went down too far. I'd just try to cut it in that right corner. Try to cut it in this pocket. But the only problem is you have this pocket here is giving you a lot of problems. Yeah. It's hard for him to elevate. Right. If he can elevate his cue to hit the rail here, then he has a shot. This, he's in a tough spot. He can't bank it right straight back across. I don't think so. Yeah, like, no, he looks like he's looking to make it. He's going to have to miss the side pocket with the cue ball. I think that's what he's worried about. Can he miss it? You think that's a yeah. dead scratch if he goes to cut it in the end? Okay, he may be banking it across the corner. I hope he does that. Oh, no. Playing he safe is what he elected to do. Yeah. And he's safe. trying to get him with the four. Yeah. I tell you, he did a pretty good job of it, didn't he? He has a nice yeah. shot there. Yeah. Now, one thing you have to be careful here, if he crosses over that three ball, that cue ball is going to be headed right toward the nine, buddy. Now he has a shot here. Uh, I'd like to show you what it is here, what I think he's going to try to do. He's going to try to kick one, two rails behind. He's going to try to kick one, two, into the back of the three ball, which is right here, and knock the five into the nine. He's okay. looking at that shot. He's going to play it first, friends. You heard what it here first. Play. He may just get it done. He is so good. Well, he went straight into it. He was trying to get it. That's right. That's, he, and, and I tell you, and I don't know if he, he didn't leave the Miz with much of a shot here anyway. But that's exactly what he had in mind, didn't he? Well, you know, up 8-3, he's got a little leeway, certainly. Huh. Miz will try to put him behind the four again, don't you think, Tom? I don't know. I think that's what he's going to do. Oh, he got a bad, oh. he got kissed by the five. That's bad. Boy, this table's <laughs> fast becoming all set up for Reyes. I thought he might spin up one rail with English, buddy, instead of going two rails. That's there. what I thought. I didn't know he was going to try two rails. I thought he'd go one rail up behind the four. Mm 
Look at that. I think it's a corner Scratch. pocket somewhere. Wow. That's the measure I needed that real bad, but he did. Yeah. Well, he hasn't had many breaks, and now he's got to take advantage of this one. A little chalk on the stick. Chalk your cue. You're looking at serious pull. Reyes cuts that in beautifully, and look at, what did you say, Nick? The corner pocket got in the way. <laughs> Been there for 100 years, hadn't it? <laughs> Got in the way in one of my matches too, this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. He's got to be below it. He didn't get below it. Oh, that's not good. He didn't get below it. He needed to be below the five. He's in a tough spot. How does, how does he get the cue ball back here for the six? What does that's, he do? It's very hard to do from where he's at. Look at that. Oh, he ran into the oh. eight. It would have been a perfect oh, it would have been shot. An ideal shot. Eight. And he played bad position to the five. Yeah, and he almost pulled it off with a great shot, but he, as you say, the eight ball caught him. Now, what's he going to do with the six? Will he bank it down here in the no, corner? No, I believe he was just trying to thin it and bring the cue ball down two rails behind the seven. Boy, this is fraught with danger. He's down 8-3. If right. he just thins that and gets it over near the pocket and then leaves that cue ball in a bad spot, why, well, Reyes will run the table on him. Right, exactly. He's going to try to get behind the 7 here. Oh, he knocked her right toward the hole. Yes, he now, did. I would have went to the yes, other side did. of it. Mm -hmm. Well, he's pretty lucky he left him upstairs and mm -hmm. straight in. Yeah. If he wasn't on top of that nine, he'd have an easy shot. Yeah. Well, he's not exactly straight in. He's got a little bit of an angle, so he's got a little hope. It's by no means a bargain. you got to be sure he don't foul the nine ball on his follow-through here, huh? Right? Oh, the eight's getting in the way. No, he cleared it. is looking to go up 9-3. These are like had some chances. They weren't great chances, but we had an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Well, last week we saw 1-9-2 come back. Yeah, we did. Now Reyes, beautiful position with the cue ball, brings it right down in the nine ball in the corner, and he leads. Nine games to three in the race to 11 as you're watching semifinal competition. The Pro Tour Championship. Reyes leads 9-3 in the race to 11. He has the cue in hand and will be breaking this rack. Miserac has had trouble getting up to the table. And in the last rack, when he did... He really didn't have much in the way of uh, easy shots, and he kind of complicated his problems by putting some bad position on a couple. Watch out, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. That ball comes slicing across there. You know, he may not have a shot. In fact, he does think. have a shot here. Can he play that three off the eight toward the pocket where the nine's at here, buddy? Right, that's a what... A kiss he... shot. Okay, what he'll do is he'll, he'll hit this side of the three, knocking it over this way and sending the cue ball around. Are you kidding me? How do you make a shot like that? He got unlucky. He got a kiss. Well, he knew that there was a chance of that anyway because he was running into traffic. Wow. <laughs> what can he do with this? Uh, not He's much. Safe, I think. Well, it's not much. <laughs> yeah, the four in the center. It's not much, but the Miz, what am I, the combination guy all of a sudden? Yeah. Did you see that, Nick? He said, yeah. combination patting me on the back. Said, all right, Cal, you, you better get on the ball here, Tom. This is your shot. <laughs> you go do this one, Tom. Combination. See if the Miz can pull it off. Oh, he's going for the nine. Yeah. Oh! He, left, he might have left him a billiard. Mm. I think he left a billiard at it. Can he get just enough of that and spin that cue ball into the nine? I think oh, he can. Oh, boy. 
Now that is bad luck. I think he can hit just the right side of the four, draw the cue ball right into the nine. Maybe he can't hit enough of it. Maybe he can't hit enough of it. No. Oh, he he didn't. Hit. Yeah. yeah. It'll be ball in hand for the Miz. Make this one. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the Miz is going after this like a hound dog goes after a bone. <laughs> Talking his way into this one. Yeah. All right. The Miz gets back. <laughs> he is, without a doubt, one of Poole's all-time great players and colorful personalities. <laughs> Take a look here. <laughs> As you watch again. What do you say, something like even Kelly could make this one? He probably did. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I don't know that I could have. At any rate, it is now 9-4. Reyes in one of his um, infrequent errors. I thought for a minute he was going to pull it off, bust it right off, and, and just throw that cue ball right into the 9. 9-4. Nine, 9-4. Four, nine, four. Now let's see if Steve the Miz can make a big-time comeback here in this semifinal match. Winner goes on to play for the championship against the defending champ. He got a ball. Yeah. He got a five out of the way. Yeah, he shot he got out a out good way. shot. All right, he's got a shot at the one. He's got the two over on the left side. Is that a problem? Just the two ball here? Right. Isn't that it? Yeah. Okay, he'll play the one ball right in here, play the cue ball, I believe, out to this area right here because the two will go in this pocket. Mm -hmm. And the three is right in the middle of the table mm -hmm. there. One, and just like you said, beautifully done. Nice position for the two. You want it to be straight in. He's not quite straight. He may have to play the two and the, uh, the three in the opposite. He may have to play the three in this side instead of the other side. He may have to just follow it one rail up. Oh. Tried to kick it out of the wind. Right, he's in trouble. Oh, I think he can hit it. He may be able to slice it in. Uh, he can cut the three in the side, yeah. I think, but uh, he's going to be running, and I don't know if he can avoid that eight bar or not. And the position is real tricky. If he can hit it, he can cut it in. He may try to hit the eight. Beautiful. Oh, I thought he made it. Look out, look out, look out. Oh. oh. Did he? He overcut it, yeah. He yeah, overcut it. Yeah. Three balls all set. Here in the race again, he leads 9 4. Four balls, easy. Five. Yeah, just shoot and stop. Mm hmm. Five up the other side. He'll stop, put the seven right back in the side. Eight, nine. Looks like my kind of table now. Mm -hmm. You see, you don't want to get overconfident here. He needs to go back over to the other side of the table so he can have an angle. Yeah, but he'll do that easily, won't he? Look at well, that. Uh, he's got an angle. What's he, no, he, will he play it off the rail and take it back up there for the nine ball back down here? Or? Right, absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. He'll play it one rail across. Yeah, he is, he is so good with that cue ball. Yeah, boy, you can't give him a break. He just takes it away from you. So Reyes now, 10-4, leads uh, Steve the Miz Bizarrack in the semifinal competition. The Miz is down 10-4, and Reyes will go to the rack with the break and the chance to win this semifinal event. We'll be back to see how it turns out. Reyes is back now, ready for the break. Needs one more game, one more rack to move to the championship. He's up 10-4. Amazing. Made the nine ball. Made the nine ball on the break, and that finishes that. In somewhat regal fashion, Miserak is up to congratulate him. And Reyes certainly was on top of his game here in the semifinal competition. As Reyes now will move on and challenge for the championship against...
Kim Davenport next week. And there's the nine ball as it falls in on the break. I believe the first time the nine ball was made on the break in this match, gentlemen. And of course, Reyes, who does it with a bit of flamboyance, picked that last game. He was up 10-4 and made the nine ball on the break to win it 11-4. We'll be back with the final comment.